Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your boy James here, and uh, today we're diving into a question I get asked a ton. Um, what's the best video editor for those really long videos? You know, the ones that feel like you're trying to wrestle an octopus into a string bag. Yeah, those. So, um, whether you're stitching together your epic gamer moments, crafting a documentary, or even just putting together footage from your last family reunion that, yes, did need to be three hours long, Aunt Karen, I've got you covered. I've been fiddling around with a bunch of different software, and I've narrowed it down to some seriously sturdy contenders that can handle the heavy lifting without making your computer cry. And hey, don't forget, if you want to skip ahead and see all my top picks without listening to me ramble on, just check out those links right down there in the description. I've put everything you need down there. No treasure map required. All right, enough chit chat. Let's get into it and find the perfect video editing sidekick for those marathon sessions at the editing desk. Buckle up. Okay, so starting our list for the best video editor for long videos, we've got Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, now, if you're like me and you've been editing for a while, you probably know that Premiere Pro is kind of the industry standard, right? It's got this incredibly robust feature set, which is perfect for long form content because it can handle like a ton of different video formats and um, codecs without blinking an eye. One thing that really stands out with Premiere Pro is the timeline It's just so intuitive. You can juggle multiple projects at the same time, which if you're working on, say, a series or um, some documentary style content, that's invaluable. Plus, the interface is super flexible. You can customize it, you know, based on your workflow, which for me saves a ton of time when I'm deep into editing a long video. Now, for the not so great parts, um, Premiere Pro can be a bit heavy on your system's resources. So if you're working with really high resolution footage or complex effects, you might need a beefier computer to, you know, avoid lag or crashes. Oh, and while we're talking cons, the, in the, the subscription model, right? It's not everyone's cup of tea. You've got to pay monthly, which can add up. But uh, considering what you're getting, for many pros, it's worth the investment. To wrap this up, Adobe Premiere Pro, guys, it's like, it's a powerhouse for long videos. It's timeline management, the sheer amount of tools, effects, and support it's got. It's fantastic. It might take a bit to learn everything it offers, but once you do, it's kind of hard to switch to anything else, especially if you're serious about your video editing game. All right, let's move on to the next editor on the list. All right, so let's dive into Filmora X and why it's one of my top picks for editing long videos. Now, when you're dealing with larger projects, you really need a software that's not going to, you know, crash on you or just slow down to a crawl when things start to get a bit more complex. And that's something I've really appreciated about Filmora X. It's got this clean interface that's, um, it's super user friendly, you know? It doesn't matter if you're new to video editing or if you've been at it for years. Um, one thing that stands out to me is the timeline. It's really intuitive. You can add multiple tracks, which is great for layering. And that's essential when you're working on longer videos where you need like various elements, your audio tracks, your B-rolls, text overlays, all that stuff to come together. And the performance stays consistent even when I throw a bunch of 4K clips on there, which is um, honestly a game changer if you've dealt with laggy timelines before. It's like seriously frustrating when that happens. Now, in terms of features, Filmora X doesn't skimp out. You've got advanced tools like motion tracking, which is super cool for interactive elements, and the color grading tools. They're pretty robust for a mid-tier editor. This means you can get that really professional look without you know, having to dish out for those high-end software prices. Plus, for longer videos, you want your color consistency to be on point from start to finish, and Filmora X gives you the tools to manage that pretty easily. Lastly, let's talk about exporting, because that can really make or break your workflow with long videos. Filmora X has optimization here that I found to be a lifesaver. You can export in various formats and resolutions without that dreaded wait that feels like it's taken forever. It's pretty efficient, and for the most part, I haven't had any issues like crashes or corrupt files when exporting big projects. All in all, it's a reliable choice if you're tackling longer videos and you need a software that balances features with a user-friendly experience. All right, so um, when you're diving into the world of video editing, especially for longer videos, there's a lot to consider, right? But DaVinci Resolve, oh man, it's almost like the Swiss army knife of video editors. Now, one thing I absolutely adore about Resolve is that it's, you know, it's robust. It's not just for cutting your clips together or adding some transitions. You've got this incredibly powerful color correction and grading capability. Like, I, honestly, it's industry level stuff. 
Now, you're probably thinking, James, what about the performance? Because mm -hmm. long videos, uh, more footage, more editing, more effects, and that can really bog down some software. But um, DaVinci Resolve, it handles this really well. The playback, even with complex timelines and layers, it's pretty smooth, which is, you know, super important when you're slogging through hours of content. Just make sure your PC or Mac is up to spec because this beast can be a bit resource hungry, right? Now, let's talk about um, organization because that's key when you're juggling long projects. David's got this media pool where you can organize your files and it's got bins, smart bins, power bins, a whole bunch of ways to keep your stuff where you can find it. And if you're working with a team, Resolve's collaboration features are just, they're top notch. You can have people working on color, sound, editing all at the same time. It's pretty sweet. And um, probably the best part, DaVinci Resolve has a free version. Yeah. The free version has got a ton of features that honestly compete with what you'd get from premium software. But there is a studio version, which gives you even more, especially for those working in higher resolutions, need more effects, that kind of thing. So um, if you're serious about your long video projects, DaVinci Resolve, I'd say it's definitely worth a look. It might take a bit to learn, but once you get the hang of it, I think you'll love what it can do for your videos. So um, when we're talking about editing long videos, you definitely want a piece of software that's not only powerful, but also you know, comfortable to use for extended periods. And here's where Luminar Neo really shines, guys. It's like, it's not just an ordinary video editor, but it's primarily a photo editor with incredible uh, eye features that can you know, enhance your still images. But let's pivot here a little bit because I know what you're thinking, James. Uh, isn't this supposed to be about editing long videos? And you're right, it's a bit of a curveball. See, Luminar Neo isn't tailored for video editing. It's not its main thing, but stick with me here. It's the sort of tool you'd want to use for creating those stunning, you know, individual frames or images that you might want to sprinkle throughout your video for effect. Like, say you've got drone footage or some landscape shots that are part of your video. Neo can make those shots pop with its AI-driven adjustments. Really helpful, huh? Now, um, one of the coolest parts, the AI tools, they can work wonders on your photos with just a few clicks. Things like sky replacement or quick portrait touch-ups, they can, you know, save you a heap of time. And that time adds up, especially with long video projects where you might have a bunch of stills to edit. You can then take these processed images back into your primary video editing software and, well, it'll make the final video much more engaging and polished. Okay, to wrap it up, even though Luminar Neo isn't a dedicated video editor, it still has a place in your video editing workflow, especially for those long projects where standout images are key. So while you can't really cut and sequence footage with it, you can certainly enhance the visual quality of the images that are part of your video stories. And um, that visual punch can sometimes make all the difference, right? Worth thinking about when you're choosing the best tools for your next big project, for sure. Okay, so Final Cut Pro X, right? This is one of those editing tools that's really quite special if you're deep into the Apple ecosystem. It's designed um, specifically for Mac users, and it leverages the power of that platform really, really well. Like, if you've got a ton of footage to cut through for a long project, Final Cut just slices through it like it's nothing. Seriously smooth, no lag, which is a godsend when you're knee-deep in editing a project that's, say, hours long. Um, one thing I absolutely adore about Final Cut is the magnetic timeline. This thing is a lifesaver because it makes it super easy to move clips around without knocking your entire project out of sync. You don't have this issue with clips crashing into each other, causing ripple effects throughout your timeline. It's perfect for big projects because you're often rearranging big chunks of video and you don't want to be fighting with your software when you're doing it. Now let's talk about the learning curve because uh, it can be a bit steep if you're, you're coming from, say, simpler editors. But once you get the hang of it, Oh man, it's like you can edit at the speed eat of thought. The thing is, Final Cut Pro X is packed with features. It has powerful media organization tools. There's support for 360 degree video, HDR, and advanced color grading. The tools are professional grade, which is what you want if you're dealing with long videos where detail matters. However, uh, there is a but. It isn't cheap, you know, but then again, premium software usually isn't. Although considering that it's a one-time purchase, not a subscription, it might actually save you money in the long run compared to other editors. If you're dedicated to making top-notch content and you've got a Mac, then yeah, Final Cut Pro X could be your best buddy for long-haul editing. Just be ready to climb that learning curve and invest some time in mastering it. 
But after that, it's smooth sailing. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up our little journey through what I honestly believe are some of the best video editors for those really long projects that you might have up your sleeve. Remember, um, all the links to the products we chatted about are, uh, they're right down there in the description. Just give that a little clickeroo and you'll be on your way. Now, I'd absolutely love it if you could smash that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out and um, it lets me keep bringing content like this to you. If you've got any questions, like maybe something's a bit confusing or you want advice on anything else, just drop a comment below. I'm pretty good at replying. And hey, I do enjoy a nice chit chat with you folks. Before you vanish into the wilds of the internet, don't forget to check out some of my other videos too. I've got plenty of reviews, tutorials, all that good stuff, which could be super helpful depending on what you're on the hunt for. All right, I think that's all for me for now. Thanks so much for watching and I'll uh, catch you in the next one. Peace out.